Hi, this is Adam Dewhurst for Escape Technology, showing you what's new in ZBrush 2018. Um, so, as well as the big update for the Sculptress uh, Pro Mode, uh, the guys at Pixelogic have updated uh, a bunch of the snake hook brushes. So, previously we just had standardized snake hook. Uh, well, we now have snake hook 2. And we have snake sphere. And we have uh, snake cactus over here. Now, in your standard mode, uh, previously, um, before Sculptress Pro, uh, Snake Hook was very, very useful, um, but after a certain point of pulling it, as you can see in these examples, uh, it starts to stretch the polygons to the point where you're going to need to DynaMesh to use that mesh. So um, it becomes uh, a very back and forth type process. Uh, if, on the other hand, let's just check our geometry is frozen, great, uh, we turn uh, Sculptress Pro on and we use Snake Hook we can see that this time it doesn't actually stretch those polygons because it's tessimating as it goes. So the combination of the snake hook tool with Sculptress Pro becomes immensely powerful. And as you can see, we've got uh, Snake Hook 2. Now, I personally feel Snake Hook 2 is a marked improvement on Snake Hook 1. As you can see, uh, just about still going. It seems to have slightly more elasticity, if that's the best way to put it. Um, essentially, it can go a little further and it's got much more of a sort of smoother fall off. So I think it's a big improvement on Snake Hook 1. Um, Snake Sphere is a useful brush, um, but there's less of a taper to it. In fact, there's no taper at all. Um, so maybe that's more useful for stuff like uh, doing like big tree branches, that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's good for building up large forms. Um, the other new one is Snake Cactus. So Snake Cactus is uh, very specifically a snake hook brush for cactus shape. So it uses this alpha right here and you can grow out a lovely cactus. Uh, and there we go. Um, so when we combine uh, the use of Sculptures Pro Mode and Snake Hook, um, we can really create some nice shapes quite quickly. So here I've got a mask that I made and I wanna, maybe I wanna tweak some of these curves here so I can switch up to Snake Hook 2. I can make sure that Sculptures Pro Mode is on and that my uh, geometry has been zeroed out. I can come in and just start trying to make this a little more interesting. Let's see. Pull some of these forms out. Oof, that's a long one. <laughs> and of course all this geometry is tessimating so it's all going to be very easy to adapt at a later stage. In fact, if I zoom in, I can even build on stuff I've already pulled out if I want to. Make this more like a woodland crown for my uh, fairy queen character. You can get some really tiny detail in there if you want to. If you find it is proving to be a little bit um, too uh, pixelated, all you need to do is go to your stroke uh, panel, drop down to Sculptress Pro, and drop down the um, uh, subdivide size. I've already got mine to 0.5, it comes in at 1, but if you're finding that is still pixelated, you can drop it down even lower, and then it should be a little bit smoother. You can see that's a much smoother result than I'm getting here. So very quickly, you can create really complex and small shapes using the combination of Snake Hook and Sculptress Pro.